Hey guys, back with another Hot Wheels video, and today I just wanted to show you some of my Matchbox Hot Wheels and green light fi finds I found this month in March. So I bought some of these old, older Matchbox for a pretty good price is why I got so many of them. And this is the first one, a uh, Lincoln Continental with the opening trunk as you'll see. And in this nice blue. I also got this Ford Corsair which is white and I also got for the same price as the other ones. Now my favorite of the vintage Matchbox is this green MG hardtop that has a dog and a person in it molded into the interior. This is a Baja Breaker from the Real Rider series from a while ago. I didn't actually buy this one. I got it given to me. The sad part is, is it is missing one of the front wheels on this side of it. I picked up and opened this uh, Datsun Fairlady Z. Um, with the Greddy or G Ready, I'll have to let me know what that, how it's pronounced. But yeah, this is a pretty cool one that I had to get. I got this Hot Wheels Blackwall Mini Trek, which is meant to be like a Toyota camper conversion thing. I thought it was pretty cool for. The price it was going for. This Honda S2000 I just picked up because of how detailed it is and I also unpackaged it here. I like that it has all the taillights and headlight side markers but it also has the VTEC four cylinder detailed inside of it too with the opening hood. And I had to open it because it has uh, Real Riders, well, Matchbox version, and it has a box that you can put it inside of.
Here I have some packaged cars like this 64 Chevy Chevelle from the Speed Blur series. I got this Mazda RX-7 that I was going to give to a friend from the Speed Graphics series. I got the T-Fox R35 uh, Guaxzilla uh, GTR from Speed Blur also. I got the green R34, which sadly isn't the super treasure hunt. I wish it was, but it isn't. And then finally, I finally found the Momo Datsun 510. And saving best for last, I got this 1972 Datsun 510 Rally from Greenlight, all terrain, and it was, I thought it was really cool because number one, it's a rally car, and number two, it's from uh, La Carrera Pan America, which if you don't know what that is, it's like a race that they do in Mexico on a highway that celebrates the classic race, so I thought that was pretty cool, and it has some amazing detail all over it like the headlights and the tail lights and all over the car it was a little bit more expensive but it was fully worth it so that's all I found in the month of March in terms of die cast and I'll be probably getting some more this month of April so yeah I'm looking forward to that Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I was sorry I missed two weeks of uploads, but we should be back on schedule. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, to turn on the bell. I'll see you 